Um, well, I guess the document I've, I've produced um, focuses on the six original claimants um, because I wanted to try and give people a feel for what were the motivations that prompted them into coming up with this extraordinary claim that they did in, in, lodged in 1991, but really we started writing it in 1989. So uh, the, the uh, little history that I've written talks about the um, individual claimants and uh, how they came together um, in the 60s and 70s. Each was uh, concerned with the affairs of their own iwi and issues that were, that were worrying them. For instance, the weavers. Sana, Sana Murray was a weaver and she didn't have access to the, uh, to the, to the fibres and the plants that she needed for her weaving because you know, Doc was saying, well, you can, you can collect here and you can't collect there and so on. Um, other people like John Hippolyte, one of my whanaunga from, uh, from Durville Island, um, their concern down there was that the Crown had uh, taken the row over to themselves the right to manage tuatara. Tuatara is a Taonga species for, for Matikwata, um, it is for all of us, but um, it isn't just for the Crown, and it wasn't just for the Crown to, uh, to alienate a whole island, uh, Takapodu or Stevens Island, to, um, to uh, conserve that species without any uh, involvement of the uh, Tangata Whenua. So those were the sort of, there's just two examples, I suppose. More, and then they're long-standing grievances. More recent grievances were the, the passage of the Plant Variety Rights Act, 1987, which gave plant breeders uh, the right to essentially patent um, uh, plants that they themselves had bred up, native species, odd-looking ones. There was a, there was a pahutakawa that, that was called carousel. It had sort of colourful spotted leaves. Um, well, plant variety rights were taken out on that, and the person who developed it sort of got, the, got, got a patent over it. Um, those sorts of things were concerning um, Ross, uh, Sa Sana Murray, and, and, uh, and John Hippolyte, Delwi Hongi, Witty McMath, Tamapuata. Um, and in 1989, they sort of all realised that they wish, had the same concerns, and those concerns were really about the, the, the crown having taken unto itself the, the right to manage these species uh, without any uh, involvement, uh, let alone um, uh, the, the, the iwi having the right to determine what was going to happen to those species.